Hi everyone, Samsung finally released One UI 6.1.1 for Galaxy S24 series and we need to check what's the best features coming with it. It's mostly AI, but it's useful one, so let's move on. Okay, first let's go and check the update itself, it is a big one, 3000 megabytes and you can see a tons of features like turn simple sketches into awesome images, of course we'll check that. Create unique portraits, let your phone do the writing for you, translate calls in more apps, translate image text on web pages, translate in listening mode, turn voice recording into notes and so on and so on and guys we have lots of these features of course today's video will check only the top 10 features, it will not be so in deep if you are interested uh, in, in deep uh, video about One UI 6.1.1 features, just let me know down in the comments and I will make a video for every new feature separately. So let's start with the first one. Before that if you play a picture in picture like this one, for example it was like this, you can resize it like big or small, but what if you want to make it in split screen view, it's a little bit messy, but now we can just when you tap it we have now this button, just tap on it and it's going directly to split screen view and from here of course you can select the second application to launch like for example Amazon and of course you can make it bigger or smaller and now directly with this button picture in picture mode is going to split screen view of course you can make it in a different way if you are going like this you can see it it's like here and if you hold if you hold it like this it is just moving, but if you hold it on one place, now the split screen view is appearing and you can move it up or down and place it directly to split screen view. From here, just select the second application and you can just continue watching your YouTube video. I will go from the less interesting to the most interesting features at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Now, second feature, if you are using my files by Samsung if you tap and go to internal storage and select a image or something or just folder like this one for example you just need to hold it and you can continue holding and you can see what's really happened or you just can go to the home screen and even better you can place it here and it is just like a folder on your home screen just a shortcut like on your Windows PC a very interesting and if you are using a DeX for example and your S24 Ultra with an external monitor this will be just like Windows PC that's it a great option so if you go again here and you can just do whatever you want let's go to for example downloads and from here select this folder mega downloads and you can see it's already activated I can move it to other place I can select here quick share and just put it there now it's inside quick share it is just copied there and now our Samsung device is becoming just like a PC next option if you go in dialer and go to settings here you have something new you can see the red dot that means you have something new with this update if you tap here you have here now answering using speaker, use speaker by default when there's no headset or Bluetooth device connected. So if you enable that feature, loudspeaker will be directly enabled when you receive a call. This will be the default option. And the next new thing here is gestures to answer a call. It was only swipe up to that moment and now we have tap option. So if someone calls you, you can just answer with a tap. The next option is the move it smart select so we have now a different options for smart select and if you go for example here and you just swipe your panel will appear and now the smart select the improved smart select with AI is here if you tap it you can see how the screen is glowing just like the Apple intelligence and tap or draw on an object if you tap here it will directly select that image if you tap here and of course the most important here is we can select a different place, for example this one, the whole, and it will select here the whole image. So now you can add to note and you can pin, you can extract the text from it of course, 
or whatever you want. Again, let's do some selections and let's select this here small image. It is automatically selected. Of course, you can rearrange it. You can make it smaller, bigger or whatever size you want. From here, just you can copy, share, extract tag or translate on. And from here, you can just tap on a different areas and select a different options. If you tap here, of course, the new AI sketch to image option is here. If uh, it's an image, you can just here draw a car. You can see I'm not very good. And if you tap on generate, let's see what will happen with that sketch to image, new AI function. And it's just created a phone, not on a car, but probably this is because of my sketching capabilities. So this is the new smart select function. If you go in settings, you have now this new Galaxy AI menu where all the AI features are positioned and you can select everything from here. You have chat assist and this is the option we are here for. Interpreter, live translation of spoken conversations available as voice or text output. So if you tap on it, you can select here a voice styles and language packs for translation. So for now, these are all the languages you can choose from, but of course, Samsung will improve that with more languages. Now, if when you uh, select your and download your languages pack, you can just swipe here, go to the end and you can select from here interpreter. From here, you will receive these new options. Interpreter uses these permissions, microphone, nearby devices and notifications. Of course, let's tap on continue and see allow interpreter to record audio of course and give it the necessary permissions to use interpreter download the spanish language pack cancel we will select here a different languages we will select german and here is united states let's test it now if we tap here on the microphone it will start translating in uh, here in that live tiles and we'll see what will happen at the end It's a little bit understanded, but let's try it again. We will try it again. We will translate now from English. My English is not very good, of course, but I will try to translate this sentence in German language. Let's see what happened. I just don't understand uh, German language, but hope it is translated right because my home language, which is Bulgarian, is not available here in that interpreter option and soon probably it will be. Check out what's new with the voice recorder and turn speech into text. So you can see we already have a new splash screen. Next, summarize recordings. It was available before that too, but now it is just in a different way. So let's tap here. And now we are starting the recording of uh, our video showing the best new future coming uh, with uh, One UI 6.1.1. And of course, from them, I will select just the top 10 futures and we'll publish that video on YouTube. If you tap it here, you can just select save. And now we have here the transcribe option. If we tap it, let's wait and see how it will transcribe the option. And now we are starting the recording for our video showing the best new future coming with it's not one UI, probably Samsung AI can't understand one UI word. And of course, from them, I will select just the top 10 futures and to publish that video on YouTube. It's pretty OK. And here we have the summarize option if we tap on it. So to be honest, this option was available before that too, but in a different way. Now Samsung claims that it's improved with this One UI 6.11 and I hope it, it is uh, really improved and we'll check it in future. Now let's move to the fun futures, fun new futures. If we go in Samsung notes, which is already updated, if we tap here and if you tap here again, check out what's new because I was waiting to record this video to show you the new futures. Note smarter, not harder. Note Assist helps you organize, summarize, translate and more. 
transform dodos into masterpiece, turn simple dodos into stunning art with sketch images. This is very fun. Turn speech into text and so on. So now from here, if you draw something, I will try to draw a car. I can say this is a car. Probably you can't see it, but this should be a car. Let's tap here on the new button. Not smarter, not harder, and everything is written here. Tap OK. And select Sketch to Image. Now, we should draw on this object around it, just to select it. And we can select from here different options. Watercolor, Illustration, Sketch, Pop Art. Let's select Pop Art and tap on Generate to see what will generate the Samsung AI. And you can see how it is creating our picture. And of course, we can swipe left or right to select different styles. Now let's try with a different picture. I will draw a house here. And this is our house, sun, garden. This should be a lake. Of course, it's not. Let's tap on the AI button. It can translate, summarize or auto format. Let's tap on sketch an image. Let's draw around our image just to select it. And now it, we have a pop art 3D cartoon. Let's generate 3D cartoon to just see what will happen. And you can see a very nice uh, and good style. Yes, it's very good. I just like it a lot. And this is in SketchUp scenario. Let's check the other options. And you can see it's very, very good. I like it a lot. So from here, of course, you can replace it, copy, add to note. Of course, here you can write something. And from here, you can tap again on the AI button. And tap here on translate and generate translation. We can select target language, German. And you can see it's directly translating it from our writing style. We can just tap here on that video and now it's playing. The video is playing. It is still not movable, but it will start moving. You can see it's moving now and we can just hold here on the video. And now it is doing all the movings in a slow motion. Now it's going faster, and, but you we have now the option to save as a slow motion. So we are now saving it as a slow motion and we have a new video which should be slow motion. Just this part where we hold it the video. And now we have here a picture of me holding a cup of coffee and I have uh, some blue sky. And let's see what have we new with uh, this AI functions. Let's tap on it and we have that portrait studio. This is something new. If we tap on it, we can select, it will automatically select our face and we can select from a different styles, comic, 3D cartoon, watercolor, sketch, and let's select comic and tap on generate and let's see what will happen. And this is me without the cup coffee. Of course, we have a different styles. You can, you also have here a download button. If you tap on it, it will directly save it to your gallery as a picture. If you swipe left or right, you have a different styles. And if we select a sketch, for example, it will directly generate it in a sketch style. And you can see me here according to Galaxy AI. This is me in a sketch style. And if you go to the most right side, you can generate again a different pictures in the same style. Is this the most useful feature? Of course it's not, but it is very fun and I like it a lot to be honest. And here I am again in a different styles. At least it's trying to keep my eyes. Everything else is generated by AI, but the eyes are mine, I think. I'm not sure. Let's stop here. This is the portrait studio. And of course, you can sketch to that image from here. I will just do like this. Like a big Mexican hat. And let's see what will happen. 
it will be generate the hat or it will generate the UFO in the sky and here is my hat in a different style so of course I just uh, created uh, a lot uh, too high from my hat portrait studio and sketch to image are available now with this new AI what else we have when you tap here on the picture and if we swipe up just to check the picture info now you have that new option which is live effect and if we tap on it let's wait it a minute and you can see that live effect of me with that uh, cup of coffee And of course you can share it and save a copy. Let's just save a copy. Here it is. It is just like a video with that effect. So guys, these are the 10 best features I just found with Samsung Galaxy AI 6.1.1 and I just want to show you. If you want to show you more features and all the new features coming with this update, just let me know down in the comments. Of course, thanks for watching and have a nice day.